Okay, Jace Tunnel here. Today we're gonna to be talking to you about pharyngeal teeth. And you might be thinking, that sounds crazy. And you're a little bit right. Starts out with the black drum. So uh, I'll, I'll show a picture here what a black drum fish looks like. But uh, it's, a, it's a big drum, you know, uh, like a redfish. It's not a redfish, but it's uh, very closely related. Um, and so sometimes of the year, we will find a bunch of them washed up on the shore here uh, of these black drum fish with the back end bitten off. And so I guess there's a lot of them that run up and down the guts here at the beach and there's sharks that will uh, bite the back end of them off. And so on a, on a single day, going about 10 miles down the beach uh, at certain times of the year, I'll be able to find, you know, probably 10 of these. You know, that's, a, that's quite a bit. But over time, those fish uh, kind of break down and everything. And so what's left is you find their, their, really their heads and their vertebrae is what you find. And all the, the structure around the, the head. So the um, uh, covering for the gills, uh, the jaw bones, the teeth. And um, so these particular um, teeth are actually up in the throat. So these are the eyes. Uh, this is the head, the mouth would be uh, down here. The pharyngeal teeth are up, are down here. And so what you would have is uh, a throat, basically in the throat. And so this would be the bottom. And then these two right here are separated and they would be on the top. And so it would be like this. And it's just like, it's just like what you would think. They use this for crushing their food. And so they eat blue crabs, uh, they eat um, clams, stuff like, stuff that is hard. And so uh, they do have teeth in the front, uh, not like anything kind of crazy, but enough to be able to grab something. And then uh, they pull it to their throat and they can crush it up and they eat it that way. So this one uh, actually still has some of the teeth in it. And so you see all these blank spots? There were actually teeth that were in there. Um, and so this one still has some of the teeth that are there. Every once in a while, I'll find one if it's, you know, fairly fresh, decomposed, uh, you know, still falling apart. So probably after a couple of weeks, um, I'll find these just solid, full of teeth. Now, eventually what happens is this will break in half. And so you'll find them in halves. Uh, uh, lots of times and so some people might think well this is maybe that's what happened to this one but no they, these are for the top and they're actually uh, separated and uh, crunch, 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 crunch that's what that's used for so uh, this is pharyngeal teeth if you ever find them uh, very cool a lot of people can put them on their desk at work and tell their colleagues about it but uh, I guess that's it for uh, for this episode and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.